to the show. Chicago Bears rookie receiver, six round draft pick, Daz Newsom. Program very Daz, what is going on, man? Not much, man. Just got to Chicago today and just trying to take it all in. Absolutely. That's fantastic. All right. We're going to lead with that. Um, you're going to hear something. And people are going to tell you that deep dish pizza is Chicago pizza. Take that. I want you to take that. Throw it out the window. Yeah, that, yeah, I, you have I, to I, go. I, when when you get pizza, get tavern style thin crust. That is Chicago pizza. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you differently. All right. I got you. All right, man. We're really excited to have you. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, Jake, that's Chris and Kevin. As you can see, they're nameplates. But thank you for coming on. And, you know, just first first things first, man, like just talk to us a little bit about, you know, being drafted by the Bears, what that was like, you know, getting that call. You know, you're, you're from Virginia. You went to North Carolina, and now you get to come to Chicago. Just tell us about that experience. Um, it was definitely surprising to me. I didn't know where I was going to end up at, honestly. And I really didn't think Chicago because I only talked to them like once or twice. So I was happy for the opportunity. Daz, as you know, uh, a few rounds earlier from where you were selected, a big name quarterback that I'm sure you're familiar with beforehand was selected by the Chicago Bears. Have you had any conversation with Justin Fields on the phone or at all since you've touched on Chicago? Have you talked to him at all? I ain't talked to him since I got here. I talked to him earlier today before I landed. And I talked to him, um, like, probably a couple of days after the draft. What was that conversation like? Is it exciting, you know, just hooking up with him? I mean, you know, obviously, what he's done in college. He's been in the biggest moments. And then what you've done, um, obviously, the city's excited, man. The city's electrified when you've got a great class of rookies and a lot of guys who can bring promise to the team. Are, were you both collectively like, let's get ready to go? Because we've seen, you know, what he said and what you said. Like, it's just time to go to work, all business 24-7. Was that kind of what the conversation was like? For sure, when, when I first got drafted, um, I, I want to say he was the first person that, that hit me up and said he, he was saying let, let him. He was just saying let's get to work, and then I probably hit him up a couple of days after that. Really, 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 really just asking him about the playbook, and to, just trying to make sure, just trying to make sure he, I'm, we're on the same page. Honestly, what's up, Daz? Um, I just I just want to know: Are there any corners in the league right now that you're just excited to line up against, and if so, why? In the corners, I, I, I would definitely say um Jalen Jalen Ramsey, just just because he he talks he like he talks a lot. And I, I like to talk too. So yeah. <laughs> so, so is that what you know? Is that what we're getting? Is that what the Chicago Bears fandoms getting? A guy who's going to talk, you know, talk the talk. He's going to go out there, and you know, you're not going to back down from anybody. For sure, I ain't never backing down from nobody. And you know, you said you talked to Justin. Have you talked to anybody else from the rookie class? Anybody else you've been in contact with? You know, starting making those connections. Um, only person, only other person I talked to from Chicago is um, I talked to um, Daniel Mooney. I'm saying I talked to Mooney. Yeah, yeah, Mooney. He, he was also he was also helping me with the um, formations and stuff like that. Absolutely. You mentioned that uh, you know that Jalen Ramsey matchup. You might get it early. Bears play the Rams on primetime Sunday Night Football Week One. Uh, you know that that leaked a few days ago, and, and that's exciting stuff, man. Are you looking forward to that Week One under the lights? I mean, that that's big time. Most definitely. Yeah, I mean, that that's, you know, I don't think a lot of people expected that, honestly. Um, but to have the Bears primetime week one, you have a chance to kind of put the name on the map early, right? You know, see okay. what the team's got against a good team. You know, the Rams have a great defense. Then they bring in Matthew Stafford. That's a talented team. You get a chance to, you know, make a name for the Chicago Bears week one. I mean, that's got to be exciting, right? Oh, well, definitely. I just can't wait to just really just go out there and show what I can do. Really show to a Bears nation what I can do and really just prove everybody wrong. Des, um, are there are there any wide receivers that you model your your game after? And if so, who who are those wide receivers? Um, my favorite receiver of all time, he he, that's Steve Smith. My 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 favorite receivers now, I I, I would have to give it to Stephon Stephon Diggs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like how he go about I like how he go about his business. So just to follow up on what you had said earlier, you know, you know the type of receiver you are, like. What what else are we getting, you know, and, and what is the Daz Newsome package here? I'm really somebody who loves the game, and you can just tell that from my style of play. I feel like I show that when I play. I let her block. I let her stick my nose in there, down with the linebackers and all that. So, really, you just get somebody who's going to work, who's going to work, and who's going to fight for their brothers. And, and the special teams, too, because I can do it all on special teams. I can be on the kickoff, punt team, 
Come return. All right, so, so let's talk about that a little bit because I mean a lot of people are expecting you to be, you know, on the return team. It has have you talked to the coaching staff? Have they said, you know, this is where you're going to be at? Or are you just saying, you know, put me anywhere and I'll go to work? Yeah, I'm just saying put me anywhere and I go to work. But I, I ain't really talked to the special teams coach. I'm probably going to talk to him tomorrow. I was guessing, but I ain't really talked to him yet. But really, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. What's your schedule look like going forward? You know, now that you're here, what? How does that process go over the next couple of days for you? Um, um, I think I think we don't got too much tomorrow. We got we got a, we got like physical and stuff like that, and then the day after that, that's when we get to work. I think we I think we got some we got some meetings. We got um, I guess we got an offensive lift. We got a little team practice or a rookie practice, I guess. Mm-hmm. Talking about returners, I mean, you know, th- th- you know the history of the Chicago Bears with returners. You know, one of the best uh, of all time, Devin Hester. <laughs> not one of the best, the best. Yes, Hall of Famer, first ballot. Hope he gets in there. Um, but then, you know, you have a guy like Cordero Patterson who was just here, and then he just walked away. What does it kind of mean to you to know the legacy of kick returns in Chicago and you knowing you kind of got to fill those shoes and the excitement that's around that specific position group in a place like Chicago? For sure, really just, just trying to come out here and be one of the best ones. Really just trying to put my name out there. So hopefully people remember me as one of the best returners. Absolutely. And then, um, Des, I, I have a qu- uh, question for you from college. So at your time at UNC, what was your all-time favorite moment? Uh, I would definitely say against Miami. When I, 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 caught, I caught a pass, like the, it was like a minute left in the game. It was like a minute left in the game, and I caught a pass in the corner of the end zone. And, and and the crowd was was so loud. I, I didn't even know the crowd was that loud until I, I went back and watched. I went back and watched the um. Somebody had a field version, and I had it on my car, and, and I got scared a little bit when I, when I had it on my car. I, it was, I didn't know it was gonna be that loud. Well, now you got to go to Chicago. It's about ten times louder. Like, you ready for that? Are you ready for the, those lights? That noise? For sure. Absolutely. You know, Daz, there was confusion early on after you got drafted about what you ran at your pro day. People on Bears Twitter had thought, you know, you ran a 4-3-8 and then it was confirmed you ran the 4 5 7. We've spoken on the show before about how someone's route running can be a more valuable asset than, say, pure speed. And, and someone with crisp, clean route running, you look at guys like Devonta Adams, Keenan Allen, some of the best of the game in that area, can create more separation than just, say, a guy who runs a 4 2 9. How important is route running in your game and in the NFL for you? I mean, right one is everything. You, you can be fat. I, I mean, sometimes, a lot of times, speed do kill, but speed not gonna always kill. It's like, say, if somebody bailing, you're not just gonna run by them if you're bailing, and unless you Tyreek Hill, I guess. <laughs> but, but other, than that, other than that, you you gotta be able to run routes. Okay? Your routes gotta be quick, especially in the in the NFL, because everybody's so quick and everybody's smart. And to, you know, people watch people watch film every day, so they're trying to feed their family. So people gonna watch tape. They gonna make sure they on top of the A game. So so you really just gotta. Be smart and really you gotta you really gotta know what you did the last week so you can kind of switch it up. You have someone in you know who's gonna be your teammate now who is a good route runner, Alan Robinson. You know, obviously I'm sure you're excited to work with him. Are you just gonna go in there and attach yourself to his hip day one? Um I'm just really gonna let the let the cards play themselves. I'm gonna watch, just really observe everybody and really just see what they do and just put new tools in my bag. You know, we got the schedule release not too long ago. You know, it was leaked a few hours ago, but the official schedule release was 6.45 Central Time. You had a chance to look at it at all? Yeah, I, I looked at it a little bit. I, I see. I, I know that we got Detroit on Thanksgiving. I know mm-hmm. we got – yeah, I know we had L.A. for the first game. And then I see we put the Vikings in Green Bay twice. So what's that one game you're circling? You know, usually, you know, is it the Rams game? Because you talked about that Jalen Ramsey matchup. Is there any specific game that Thanksgiving that you're kind of, you know, circling on the schedule looking forward to? I'm really, really playing against, really playing against my old teammate, um, Chad Surratt, and, and really mm-hmm. playing, against, playing against my my old um, somebody I played against in high school named um, Jeremiah Wusu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so, I mean, me and him, me and him, we went to get each other in high school, and it's crazy because he never beat me in high school, but he beat me in college. Like Notre Dame. Don't let him beat you in the NFL. For sure. That's all you say. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and Des, you know. We'll let you go here soon, but you know what? What's something you know in Chicago? You know, I don't know if you've ever been before. Like, what are you looking forward to about just the city as a whole, and what are you looking forward to getting to know and seeing? I'm really getting. I'm looking forward to the food, honestly, because <laughs> I don't. Because I heard they have no Waffle House out here. <laughs> no, you got you got to you got to go south for that. They have yeah, it in Central. Yeah. I, I thought Waffle House is global. I didn't know that was just the South thing, but I still don't got a Waffle House, so I, I gotta find. I got to find out another, another laid out spot. 
So, so, so really just the food, really, really, because I heard they got some good food, though, so I, so I really want to know what the food was talking about. You're just going to start taking suggestions from your teammates, just asking, you know, you know, Tevin Jenkins out here taking – Result, you know, taking suggestions from Twitter. You're gonna start crowdsourcing. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. I'm saying I know Twitter. I know Twitter did, did give me the good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Daz, you have to try Portillos. That's it. For, Portillos. Portillos. It's a must in Chicago. That is that is that is what, the what, number what, what one. What kind of food they got? Anything you could ever dream of. Get it. Get, get the hot dogs are good. You got to get the hot dogs. Get the burgers. Hot dogs, like the burgers. I mean. Pasta, salad, anything you could ever want, honestly. Okay. We, we got to warn them, though. You know, if, if you're staying in, you know, a football diet, Portillo's calories can add up That's uh, true. pretty quickly. They, they have a, a, an item called a cake shake. I think there's about 2,500 calories in a single shake. It's 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 absolutely unbelievable. Now, if you got a cheat day, I would suggest just eating the cake shake, and that's the only meal you're eating the day because 2,500 calories, that, that's going to fill you up. But, Des, too, another thing, um, you know, we've had a few guys on the show before, Clifton Duck, Josh Woods, and we can talk to Tariq Cohen, some other guys on Twitter and stuff, and, you know, gaming is a big part of the Chicago Bears with guys like Dave Montgomery and Alan yeah. Robinson, Donald Moody. They'd be playing Warzone stuff. You on any of the games? You going to swap yeah, yeah. up with any of them? I, I, I'm on a Warzone for sure, and I'm, I'm, on, I'm a man player. 2K be cheating. So I, don't really, <laughs> I don't really like to play 2K because they be cheating on me all the time. But but man, I play. I definitely play man in Call of Duty. I play wars when I play zombies. I'm, a, I'm pretty. You're just gonna start sending the invites out. You're just gonna start. You're just gonna start sending squad up. Get yeah, somebody so. to drop with you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Des, dude, we appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. We really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you know, if you know, we'll leave us with this. What's your message to Bears fans? You know, before they see you. Hey, well, my message to the Bears fans is I'm glad to be here. I'm glad y'all take me in this family, and I'm ready to work for y'all and give y'all my all. All right, Des Newsom, hey, everybody. Yeah. Bears, okay, we appreciate it, dude. Thank you, and good luck. We look forward to watching you this year. That's it. Thank you. Absolutely. Dan's Newsome, everybody.